Hey everybody, this is episode number 10 in Paper World Tutorials. And in this episode, we will look at Circular World Creator, which is included with Paper World Template. To explain what this uh, Circular World Creator does, I will show you some elements created with it. So when we open this first subfolder in Creators folder in Project Panel, you can see there is a separate folder, Circular World Creators in Use. And here, when we open this first one, this is what Circular World Creator creates for you. You have included here, I have put here these shapes, and the creator makes it to this round or circular world. And the other sample I will show you too. So here is like a round town or small city. And it is created with placing some house shapes here. So this is what Circular World Creator does for you. And you can make some really interesting uh, stuff with this uh, using uh, animated shapes also inside. Uh, so we will now make another one using this uh, creator. And to do that, uh, I will open um, this uh, first Circular World Creator 1 here. And right now this is just an empty uh, circle here. We need to put some shapes inside the placeholder. So it's basically using this is exactly the same as for Mini World Creator. And we will use here uh, some animated uh, fire shape uh, because we want to use this um, to create like a circular sky uh, uh, which is in flames or in fire. And I will look uh, for animated fire in elements folder. It's under camping shapes. And we will use this campfire shape to flames burning. I will just drag this shape into the placeholder below these two layers. Let's fit this view better so we can see what happens. And now I will make some duplicates of this to uh, have more flames like covering up this placeholder or a part of it. So I'll make three duplicates. And then I can use uh, position and scale to move these so they will cover up this uh, placeholder evenly like a wide fire, wide, uh, widely spread flames. That's what we want to make here. And let's see. Okay, so this fire is too colored and we want to have this only, we want this to be a, a white. So I will add a tint effect to turn this totally white. And now I can copy this effect to the other layers too. Okay. And now we will change the position more. We want this to be uh, as in mini world, as is the case in mini world, uh, it's good to place the shapes to the bottom edge uh, of this placeholder because then there will be no mm, transparent part uh, in the mm, in the circular world. I can show you how it looks right now. So you can see the flame that is uh, not touching the bottom edge. It has like transparent part here, which is black right now. 
So depending what are you trying to create, if we put some clouds here, then they can be in the air. But otherwise, uh, place your shapes so that they are touching this uh, bottom edge of the placeholder sitting here nicely. So now, now these flames are more evenly placed and I will also move some of them in time so they don't um, animate exactly the same way because this is uh, all same layer. So I will drag this first one back a bit and the third one too. So. Let's close this and now when we go back we can see our creator updating the changes and I want to make this um, even a bit smaller because um, I know that it has to cover a big part of the frame or the scene where I'm going to use this. So this control lets you uh, set a different scale number for the sky. So for example, if I put here 90, then it takes this uh, transparent part or makes this round circle bigger. But you may have then to go back to the placeholder and uh, use uh, the distortion uh, control so I'll change this back to 45 like we are going to use. And now a really good uh, way to uh, check how your distortion, because there will be some distortion, uh, it makes your elements uh, match to the round shape. So we will correct this distortion, uh, closing uh, or putting a lock on this comp viewer and then uh, opening a new comp viewer. So there are two windows here and now we go here to the placeholder and when we make changes here we can see the circular world creator updating. And using this first layer in placeholder I can now make some corrections. Uh, I will change the scale for both Y and X and I will also change the position so they will touch again the uh, the bottom, bottom edge as I told before it should do so like this so this is something uh, I was aiming for that uh, about half of the sky will be uh, covered with flames and we can turn this around later. So you can see what this uh, circular world creator does to your placeholder or the shapes you have put in the placeholder. And we can now um, close this and open this lock for another. And now we have created a shape uh, here with this creator and we can now use this uh, to have a new element uh, and uh, as told before elements are shapes with paper texture added so if you want to use you can, you can use this as a just a shape layer also but we want to add some paper texture so we will put this shape into the element and uh, we will use a custom element We'll use a custom element for this and we need to put the shapes in the shape comp and this custom shape 6 is empty here so we can take now our circular word creator uh, 
number one here and drag this into the shape comp. So here it is now. And when we go to the custom element six, let's close this creators folder so we can see better. Now when we look at custom six, then here is our element. So right now this uses a paper texture, a white or ivory rice paper, and you can't perhaps see very well, but uh, if you would use like a vintage paper or something, well, you can see some texture here. So that's why we put it into the element. And now this element we can put in use in our scene. So we have this uh, scene two where our old trees and dragon, uh, dragon which we created uh, the little planet using mini world creator. We will now also use a circular world creator element here. And to add a new element into the scene, as always, I will first make a new layer using duplicate for this last layer. Command D and then I can replace this with new element. So custom six will be our new element. Holding down alt or option, I drag this on top of the duplicate and release. So there it is, something appeared. But you can see uh, we had uh, put an expression under this uh, rotation property for the dragon layer. We don't want this uh, back layer now be rotating and we will change all, also the scale. But first I will just uh, delete this expression for the rotation. So to do that, we have used it under effect. I will press E and um, this will open the effects. Now under transform. When I open this, you can see there is a red number uh, referring to the expression. I will just delete this expression. And I will also change this to zero, the value to zero. And right now we can't even see this circular uh, hole or the transparent part because it's too small. Uh, we have to just change the scale to be bigger. So we can see also the transparent part and we will change this to 150. Okay, but we also want to change the position for this so we will takes this to 1100 and you can also see that the flames are under the below on the lower part not the upper part as it should look like so I will turn this around 180 degrees to flip it vertically okay now we can see our flames here I will also change the uh, color for this element because uh, I want this to be colorful all else can uh, be ivory still, but let's turn off uh, this uh, depth of field uh, temporarily so it will uh, it will make the working with the scene faster. So now we can go to the start point of animation. So we can see there we can see the flames here too. And uh, now to change the color for this element, I open this element comp double clicking here and the first layer is color control layer so we just change the white to bright orange like a really bright orange now we can close this and we can go back to our scene comp and you can see it's not orange but gray and that is because we have the scene color and perspective color affecting this layer. So as uh, in some previous uh, episode I told also, you can turn off the uh, scene color and perspective color for every element layer separately. So we want to turn off these two effects, this one here, when this uh, layer is selected and also the perspective color. 
And now these don't affect the scene settings don't affect this layer and it keeps the color we have given it in the element comp. So usually perhaps it's easy to just make the whole scene look uh, color cast by one color and then you can make these exceptions to make look for example the flames of coming from the sky really bright orange. And now when we RAM preview this We can see these flames coming from the sky or like the sky is in fire because this dragon is um, attacking the town or something. So this is uh, the circular world creator and uh, this tool is meant to be uh, helpful when you are creating your animated stories or t telling your stories. Uh, you can present and uh, show your elements and uh, and characters in a new way. So we'll add some little bit of magic to your story. And thank you for watching this uh, episode. Uh, the next one will be about layered element creator. And if you like this tutorial, then uh, you are welcome to subscribe so you can get notified when we add more tutorials to the channel. Thank you. Bye.